Hi, my name's Andy and I work for the Pace Trust that does assemblies, RE lessons and lunchtime clubs here in Poole, Bournemouth and Christchurch. I'm going to think today about faith and trust and I don't know if you've ever played that trust game where you either somebody stands in front of you and they relax and you catch them or someone stands behind you and you relax and they catch you and you only do it, you only let yourself go if you trust that particular person. In fact, we all put our faith in all sorts of things. I'm putting my faith in the fact that the floor that I'm standing on won't give way or that Dave filming this has got us pressed record. We all put our faith in various different things all the time. And I want to tell you about somebody who put their faith in what God said. He was a guy called Noah who lived a long time ago. And God told Noah to build a boat but it wasn't just any boat, it was huge. It was about the size of several football pitches and about the height of a multi-storey car park. And at that time, he wasn't living anywhere near water and people thought he was crazy, but he built this ark and in this ark, he had his family and it also had lots of animals. It seemed a crazy thing to put your trust in. He heard what God said and he did it. But then it started to rain, and then it rained some more, and then, then floods came. And you know what? Noah's life was saved because he put his trust in God. He put his trust and put his faith in what God said. The ark for him rescued him. He was safe from the storm. In many ways, the ark is a little bit like the cross. Christians believe that the cross is something we can trust and we can put our faith in that rescues us. Christians believe that in the beginning there was God. God's always been there and always will be there. And God created the earth. He created the sun, the moon, the stars. He created mountains and seas. He created us. He created everything. And he said in the Bible that it is good. And he gave people this amazing gift called free will, the ability to choose whether or not we'd be God's friends and sadly, people chose to mess up that relationship, to, to do stuff that spoiled and clouded that relationship, that got in the way of that relationship. The Bible calls that sin, the things we think, the things we say, the things we do that aren't as God wanted us to do. And maybe even the th good things that we ought to do that we don't do. This sin clouds and spoils that relationship. And Christians believe that God sent Jesus, who lived and died on the cross and rose again. And when Jesus died and rose again, that opened the way and gave us back that opportunity to have that restored right relationship with God. And we believe that the cross, like the ark, is something we can trust that is our rescue from all the wrong things we've thought, said and done, a fresh start. So as a Christian, I put my trust and my faith in the cross. What do you put your trust in and your faith in today? I want to tell you a story about a guy called Blondin who was the world's best tightrope walker and he went to Niagara Falls which is a huge, in fact it's the biggest waterfall in the entire world and it's really high and it's really dangerous and he got his rope and he stretched it from one end to the other and he walked across the tightrope Everybody was clapping and cheering. They were like, wow, Blondin, you're amazing. You're such a good tightrope walker. And then he went, well, for my next trick. And he went and he came back with a wheelbarrow and he walked across Niagara Falls, pushing the wheelbarrow as he walked right across and everyone again went wild they clapped they cheered they said blondin you're amazing so at the end of the water at the end of his tightrope walk he said do you believe i can walk across niagara falls pushing a wheelbarrow with someone sat in it and everyone was like yeah of course you can blondin you're the greatest tightrope walker in the world and then he said who wants to volunteer? 
and suddenly it all went quiet. Everyone believed he could do it, but no one was prepared to actually get in the wheelbarrow. And then someone put their hand up and came shuffling to the front and got in the wheelbarrow. It was a little old lady who was Blondin's mum. She knew Blondin could do it. She knew she could trust him. She put her faith in her son when she got in the wheelbarrow. So what are we putting our faith in? What are we trusting? Are we just saying we believe something just because it's sort of there in our head a little bit? Or are we like Blondin's mum, we're prepared to get in the wheelbarrow and choose what we put our faith and our trust in? I'm going to just say a little prayer now at the end if you want to join in with me. Dear God, thank you that you are trustworthy. Thank you that we can put our faith in you and that you're reliable and that, we, and that you are faithful. Help us to make those right choices and to know that you're trustworthy in the big things and the little things and all that we face today. Amen.